eight new hybrid animals created recently. On this globe, there are some genuinely extraordinary, lovely, and magnificent creatures. But when people saw this exquisite tapestry of creation, they wondered, what if we just mix these animals up? The majority of hybrid creatures have been made by humans and do not exist natively in the wild, which has sparked significant debate and criticism. The majority of these animals produce infertile offspring, hence human intervention is required to keep them alive as hybrids. These are some of the most bizarre animal hybrids you won't believe actually exist, including monster cows, wild wolf dogs, solar-powered plant slugs, and disgusting naked chickens. But before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe for more of such interesting and informative content. Alright, without further ado, let's get started with our list. Liger King Long regarded as the kings of the jungle, lions are set to surrender their crown to a close relative. Introducing the Liger, an absolute creature produced by the mating of a male lion and a female tiger. Huge tigers have been known to grow as long as 12 feet, weigh as much as 1,200 pounds, and stand over 4 feet tall at the shoulder. That weighs as much as a grand piano and is twice the size of a refrigerator. In contrast, a huge purebred African lion can reach a length of 10 feet and a weight of 550 pounds. Due to this, the liger is undoubtedly the largest big cat in the world. Now, a particular gene combination passed down from the liger's parents is what accounts for its enormous size. A male lion must fight with other males for the privilege to breed. Thus his genes encourage growth in his progeny to secure their survival. Typically, a lioness's genes will prevent this expansion so she can have several offspring. However, a tigress's genes are designed to result in unique children. Therefore, they are unable to prevent the male lion's growth genes from being turned on in their progeny, resulting in a huge liger. Tigans Tigans, which are considerably smaller and more violent than ligers, are created when a male tiger and a lioness are mated. Sadly, as a result of this gene switch, ligers and tigons frequently experience severe health issues and seldom make it past infancy. Since lions and tigers do not share any habitats naturally, they are only found in captivity, where it is estimated that there are fewer than 100 tigers and lions worldwide. That's definitely a good thing, given how large and ferocious these animals may be. Holfin. The result of a whale and a dolphin mating is the strange creature known as a holfin. To be more precise, it refers to the results of the mating of a fake killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. Before you start to wonder how it would happen, you should know that in 1985, a holfin was born at the Honolulu Sea Life Park to dolphin mother Punahale and false killer whale Ayanuikahai. The calf was given the name Kaikemalu, which means the peaceful ocean. However, in my opinion, the finished product is a little too frightening looking for that name. Holfins are undoubtedly strange looking animals. While their heads resemble fake killer whales, their fins and noses more closely resemble dolphins. Additionally, those teeth are really terrifying. They are also a steely gray color, which is an intriguing blend of their parents' and grandparents' skin tones. Pizzly Poo You may probably guess what a Grolar bear is now that you are aware of the naming conventions for hybrid creatures. Yes, if the polar bear is the mother, the Grolar bear is a ferocious and formidable hybrid between a grizzly bear and a polar bear. If a polar bear is the father, the offending term Pizzly bear is used to describe the animal. Whatever name you give them, they normally range in length from 6.5 to 10 feet and weigh 400 to 1,500 pounds. A grizzly bear can grow to be about 6.5 feet long, whereas a polar bear can reach a height of 10 feet. Therefore, the grizzly bear is a comfortable size in between those two. It's interesting to note that grizzly bears may carry babies and give birth to strong cubs. This is unique because the combined genes of most hybrid species make them infertile. Although the precise number of Grolar bears is unknown, reports of their sightings have increased recently. This could be as a result of grizzly and polar bear habitats overlapping in the Arctic and Americas, unlike those of tigers and lions. As regional climates are affected by global warming, this area of agreement has grown over time. It has been suggested that this growing overlap, along with the Grolar bear's capacity for reproduction, may indicate that they represent the bear species' future. However, 
given that growlers are reportedly considerably braver and more violent than grizzlies. This could not be good news for us. The camping experience is about to get very exciting, boy. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Israeli Fried Goblins Although some of the unusual and bizarre organisms on Earth may appear unattractive, they are all equally worthy of life and respect. Once you learn a little bit more about them, they can all evoke amazement. Unless they are these things. I believe that these are bad and should not exist. What you are currently viewing is a breed of featherless, pale red chicken that has been deliberately produced in Israel. It appears that wild bare-necked chickens and broiler chickens were crossed to generate the species. So what is the purpose of breeding these odd little goblins? A naturally naked chicken, however, spares farm workers the laborious task of plucking the feathers after the animal has been killed. Additionally, they can produce a lot of heat when you are farming hundreds of fluffy birds that are all near to one another. In crowded farms, chickens frequently overheat and even pass away. Both of those issues are intended to be resolved by a chicken without feathers. Consider this if you find all of this to be a little morbid. Incredible Cows In the world of cattle, there was a male steer by the name of Nickers who particularly stood out from his herd. This Holstein Frisian steer was about the same height as Dwayne the Rock Johnson and weighed almost 11 times as much at 2,800 pounds and 6 feet 4 inches tall. Although this steer was enormous, even he couldn't match with the Belgian Blue, a man-made hybrid frequently referred to as a super cow. I understand why. This ferocious cow appears to be capable of competing with the Man of Steel. Super cows today weigh more than 2,800 pounds and stand almost 5 feet at the shoulder. They are therefore carrying a significantly higher body weight on a substantially smaller frame than knickers, giving them a much bulkier appearance. When domesticated Belgian cattle were crossed with imported British Shorthorn bulls in the second part of the 19th century, the species was created. These cows were later selected for because it was discovered that they were more likely to possess a rare double musculature trait. The characteristic benefited butchers because a Belgian blue cow produces up to 80% more beef than a typical cow. Many people contend that the breeding of super cows is unethical despite the fact that they are such a beneficial animal for the farming business. This is because many of the cows are so muscular. They have a hard time moving around and living comfortable lives. Wolf Dog You should be relieved that you've never had to house train a wolf dog if you think your dog is a troublemaker. These dogs, as their name implies, are the offspring of wolves and common domestic dogs. Breeding between wolves and dogs that are already more wolf-like, including huskies, German shepherds, and malamutes, has a higher chance of success. Wolf dogs are uncommon in the wild because wolves are typically territorial and distrustful of animals that are not part of their close-knit packs. Compared to other dogs, wolf dogs are typically more unpredictable and wild. When you consider it, this makes sense. Dogs are merely wolves that people have carefully developed over generations to be more submissive and manageable. You could kind of destroy all the hard work we went into domesticating them by mating one with a wolf. Wolf dogs can weigh up to 120 pounds and have a shoulder height of 3 feet. They are typically slightly slimmer and around the same height as wolves as a result. But don't be deceived by it. They've been seen to leap over 8 feet in a single bound. These semi-wild puppies. Due to their similar resemblance to wolves, they also favor a diet high in raw meat combined with grain-free kibble. You aren't encouraged to get one as a pet, despite the fact that some can be affectionate and laid back due to their general unpredictability and power. So, if you see one at the pound that needs help, pick up a chihuahua instead. The Living Lettuce When you were a child, your mother used to remark, you are what you eat. That might not apply to us, but it definitely does to this little man. Meet the Eastern Emerald Elysia, often known as the green sea slug when it is acting cocky. This unassuming gastropod, which can reach a maximum length of around two and a half inches, can be found all along the eastern coast of the United States. Then why is it a hybrid? Well, this gluttonous creature has consumed so much algae over the years that it has learned how to make its own chlorophyll, turning it into a hybrid of a slug and a plant. The element chlorophyll enables plants to transform sunlight into energy, making the green seed slug the first solar-powered slug 
and the first Pizar plant animal hybrid in history. To understand the slug better, consider it more like a hybrid vehicle than an animal. The sea slug functions similarly to hybrid autos in that it can run on a combination of gas and electricity. The slug, however, runs on food and solar energy rather than gasoline and electricity. That's quite remarkable. Perhaps in 20 more years, it will only be powered by batteries. What do you think? Are human-animal chimeras the way of the future? Are animal hybrids cool or a little disturbing? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And, as always, thanks for watching.